In this video, we're going to learn how to do a mitered border on our center quilt or our center part of the quilt here. I learned this method from Deb Tucker. You may want to check out some of her videos. Um, it there's a several different ways to do a mitered corner, but this seems to work the best for me. I've had the best results, so that's just kind of how I um, tackle that. And so we're going to go ahead and get that mitered border added on. Okay, I've got my center piece all pieced together and looks really good. We're going to flip it over and I am going to mark on each one of my blue corners a quarter inch away from this tip. And so I'm going to try first just putting a ruler in the corner so that it lines up. And I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Okay, I'll try to zoom in here in a sec. Um, I'm going to put just a mark. And it can be a dot, it can be like a cross hatch, just something to mark a quarter inch away from this side at the end and this side at the end. So, all right, let's try another one. And I'm just, again, going to just line that up there. going to put a dot there and do that to all four. Okay, and this time I, I'm doing my dot with just a regular pin because I'm probably going to press this and I do not want that to disappear with heat if I use a Frixon pin. So I want that mark to stay through a couple pressings here and it's going to be on the back side so it's not going to show up. But I do want to be able to see it. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to take our border strip that we've cut and it's with the fabric. I'm just going to leave it that long and we're going to sew. I'm going to line this up right sides together. I am going to center it just so I have a lot to work with on each side. And I'm just going to use that fold and put that right on the center part of my block. And I'm going to sew down until I get to that dot. I'm going to stop at the dot and maybe do a little back stitch just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to do that to all four sides. So let's go do that. Okay, I've got my dot marked right there so that it's a quarter inch in from this side and a quarter inch in from this side. And that's just a reference mark for me. Okay, and I know that this was my center. And I've got the fold of that. And I am going to pin because I want that to stay in that spot. And I'm just going to hold it flat on there. And put a pin there and I've got I have the um, the border fabric on the bottom because I do want to be able to see that dot because we're going to start in the dot and stop in the dot with our stitching so we have to be able to see that so we're going to have that on top okay so I'm just going to put that out get my edges lined up and I'm going to try and get right in, right in the middle of that dot. Okay, that looks good. So I know that's where I want to start. So I'm going to go a few stitches and I am going to do a few stitches like back stitching just to lock this in place because we don't want that to come undone. Okay, and then we'll just continue on stitching that in place. this back a little bit it's kind of pulling there we go okay, 
and just make sure that's still lined up. Okay, and just keep going till we get to the other dot here, and then we're gonna stop right on that dot. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a few back stitches. Perfect. Okay, so we've got our quarter inch there that we did not stitch, and that's exactly how it should be. So we're gonna do that to all four sides, starting and stopping. And now, to, when I come do this side, I am gonna wanna just kinda pull this out of this um, border fabric here out of the way so that it's kind of flat right there so we're not getting it caught in there but first I'm going to do the opposite side and then not have to worry about folding that up quite yet okay got my piece and I know where the center is right here And I'm just going to go ahead and line up that center with the center of my block. Put a pin there to hold it. And then I'm going to just kind of move out here, making sure that they're both flat. Make sure you got them right sides together. And okay. Again, we're going to start right on that dot and I want to make sure that um, it's hard to tell with my needle sticking clear up so I am using the hand wheel to come down a little bit to make sure that I am starting exactly on that dot and I did a little back stitch seam flip that's okay I'm gonna leave it okay when I get to that dot I'm gonna stop stitching and do a little bit of back stitching okay so here's where I want to kind of pull this back and then I am gonna fold this back again just so it's out of the way I don't want it to get caught in there and I'm gonna put a pin on that side and then I'm gonna do it on this side as well just kind of pull that back pull this side back I just want a nice flat area right there okay we gotta be careful because we've got those pins in there now so we're gonna add another strip Okay, and I know where my center is because so I'm just going to use that fold. Okay, I'm going to put a pin in there and then work back this way. Making sure I have everything nice and flat. And lined up. And I don't have that extra fabric caught in there, okay? And so then now again, I'm gonna start right on that dot. And do a little bit of back stitching.
Okay, and I'm getting close to this end down here. Okay, get that on there nice and flat, and I'm gonna go right to that dot. And do a little back stitch. Okay, so now we have our, I can unpin that and I've got my fabrics stitched up to that point. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add that last side and then we'll take it over and see how to draw a line and get that border ready to sew. Okay, so we've got our floppy borders here and we're ready to do our miter. So how we're gonna do that is we are going to flip it over and I'm gonna work so that the um, back side of the quilt is facing up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, corner here where we have our pieces meeting. So I'm just gonna kinda take my finger and hang right onto that corner and use the other hand to fold the sewn edge of the quilt over to this sewn edge. And so what I'm trying to do is to get these pieces here, my flappy pieces of the border, lined up here. And so you can see by doing that, now we have a continuous fold here. And let me back up a little bit. Okay. We got a nice straight line here. Okay, and I'm going to just make sure that is nice and straight. I can feel that the quilt is folded underneath. Um, I'm gonna line up those edges and put a pin right there to hold that in place. And then if I lift up one of these sections, there, can you see that the quilt, try and get closer here. Okay, the quilt is actually folded in there. You can see it in there and it goes right up out where our points are. Okay, now I'm gonna line up these border ends here so that they're straight along there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my ruler that has a 45 degree line on it and I am gonna draw a line from the point where that stitching ended 45 degrees angled outward, away from the quilt. I'm coming off this side over here. I want my line going that way. So I'm finding my 45 degree line on my ruler, and then I want the edge of my ruler to go right where that seam, where my stitches ended right there. And I've got my 45 degree line lined up along this border piece and I'm going to draw a line. That's going to give me a 45 degree line from the end of my stitching out here. And now without moving anything, I'm gonna put some pins here because I do not want these border pieces to shift. Okay, we're gonna do that to one more side and then we'll take it and we're gonna sew from that point right along our line. So I'm gonna hold that one there. And since we're here, let's line up another one. Okay, this one right here is not done, so we can line that up. So I'm gonna kinda of grab my border pieces here. Zoom back out a little bit. Um, grab them pieces, and I'm just gonna kinda of hold, hold it at that point and then I'm going to fold the quilt so that my edges come together here and I've got a straight line here with the border pieces. And so I can t feel that the quilt is folded back out of the way. Um, okay, looks good. We're gonna grab a few more pins. I'm gonna put a pin over here just to hold that in place. And then we're gonna draw our line. Again, I'm gonna line up 
the line on my ruler with my 45 degree line and I'm going to put this edge right on the tip of where I start where I stop stitching and I'm going to draw the line outward away from the quilt my line is going this way and then I'm going to put a pin here because I do not want that to shift I can take this one out now Okay, and then let's go to the sewing machine and we're gonna start right in that point and stitch out. Okay, I'm at the sewing machine. Here is my border. You can see my drawn line. I'm gonna put my needle down right there at the end of my stitches and stitch right on that line. And make sure it's lined up good. Again, I'm going to go a few stitches and do a little back stitch. And I just got to the end of the border fabric. I'm going to move this pin and let's just take a quick peek at that. Okay looks good and actually look at that those lines actually lined up i did not plan that i did not try for that to happen i just wanted the illusion of the lines you know kind of making that corner as opposed to lines on um if you just had a straight border you'd have lines going this way and then when you got to this one then your lines would go this way so doing that miter kind of gives it a neat little um kind of sharp looking edge there but then that is just going to lay flat i'm not going to trim anything yet i definitely want to make sure that it is all um, stitched in there good it's going the right direction that one looks really good um the, i did another one and it did not line up but i'm okay with it i'm i'm leaving it but um so that one i got super lucky on okay let's try that again on our other one here so i'm carefully gonna just shift it and I've got my pins in there, so it's holding my fabric in place. And I'm going to make sure I'm right in the, right at the end of that stitching line on my drawn line. I'm gonna take a few stitches and then back stitch. And then stitch right on that line. Okay, and we're going to remove pins and we'll check that one and they came out pretty close I'm okay with that I'm kind of excited that I got a nice flat mitered border on there so then what we can do is um, we know that looks good everything's gonna lay flat so now I'm gonna trim this away about a quarter inch away from that drawn line and we'll do that now and I'm still making sure that my quilt is nowhere near where my scissors are because that would be really bad so we're just gonna come up to there cut that off and now I do want to press it so that my seams are going to be pressed towards the border because there's lots of bulk in there um, and so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this open just so it lays really flat and then when these come back towards the border that piece is just going to lay flat right nicely in there I'm going to press it so that it does that but that looks good um, so I hope that you enjoyed here's another one we can look at that um, I'm going to go ahead and trim them and do a little pressing and then we'll see how it looks okay here's one that i went ahead and i pressed and i pressed this seam open and then as i pressed my quilt towards the border you can see how that just lays nice and flat there and so i'm going to start from the back side and just kind of finger Take my fingers, open that seam up, give it a little press right up to the point, and then 
kind of do a little press there. Then from the right side, I'm going to lay it flat. Make sure my seams are coming towards the border and then give that a press and then just go work my way around the whole quilt making sure that my seams are nice and flat and then I can come back and trim those little edges that are poking out there so I'm just going to work my way all the way around pressing and have a nice flat mitered seam Okay, we're going to start assembling our quilt. And the first thing that we're going to start with is I've got all of my, or all four pieces of this beautiful flying geese strip. Um, my four churn dash blocks, I'm just going to set those aside for right now, but we'll get to those soon. And then I cut four uh, little borders of my little stripe fabric the same length as the flying geese and I'm going to attach that first and so I have all my geese here they're all pointing to the left so I'm going to add this piece to the top and if I do that same way then as my geese fly around the border is always going to be on the outside where I need it to be so I'm going to take one of each Set everything else to the side. Okay, and I am going to find the center here. Okay, and I know that it's right here. I'm just going to put a pin to mark that so I don't forget. Okay, I'm going to take these two ends and give me a little crease right there where my center is, and then I'm going to put that right on the seam where I found the center here. Pin there and then pin at both ends. And I'm gonna do that to all four pieces. And then we'll stitch that on. Okay. Okay, let's go sew that on to all four pieces. Okay, we're gonna stitch this little border piece to our flying geese unit. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and press that towards the border piece that we just added. And I'm going to do that to all four strips. Okay, now we're going to take the border section that we just completed and we're going to attach that to two sides of our inside quilt. And like that. So I'm going to find the center of this piece here, match it to the center of this, pin that on. And then I'm going to take the two pieces that are left, so the upper and lower borders, and on the ends of each one of these, I am going to put one of our little churn dash blocks and add that on one to each side of those strips here and then we'll be able to add that strip to the top and one to the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and work on that now